talk about the Babylonian numeral system. So this was 3100 BC-ish. Okay. Uh, for digits, they really just had two of them. They had this, which kind of looks like a V, which means one. By one, I mean one thing. And then they had a symbol like this, which they used to mean 10. Now, as the system went on and evolved, these uh, individual digits got more and more elaborate. So if I wanted to write two or three, which we'll do in a minute, it wasn't just a bunch of Vs, but that's how we'll do it here. So just those two symbols were all they used. The place values in this system were starting on the right with one, and then 60, and then 60 squared, and then 60 cubed, and then 60 to the fourth, and so on. So that makes this a base 60 system. So each digit goes up in value by a multiple of 60 as I go to the left. All right. And now let's see if we can count in this system. So I'm going to need a lot of ver vertical space here. But here's one. OK. Here's two. It's two ones. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now we use our other symbol for ten. For 11, put my 10 first, and then a 1. For 12, a 10, and two ones. For 13, a 10, and three ones, and so on. Until I get up to 60, which I'll have to go over a place value for. So let me get there. Uh, here's 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then for sixty, I'm going to put a one in my sixties place and nothing in my ones place. Okay, that's a little confusing, uh, but sixty one is easier to represent as a one in the sixties place and a one in the ones place. Now this system is a little hard to use because there is no symbol for zero, and we just ran into that problem trying to count. When I hit 60, I have no good way of representing that besides leaving some space.